Okay, yes. Oh, so perfect. It's hard to gauge what's happening. We know that through personal contact and friends that we know through friends of friends and so forth, we have heard of some verbal attacks against Asians. I myself have been told, you know, a couple of times, hey, Chinamen, go home. And I'm not even Chinese, but that's not the point. You know, the point is that I'm Asian, you know, and I'm told, go home, get out of here, go back to your country. Someone coming at you, okay, with a key sticking out. So I've got this and I'm walking and I see this guy coming. So I'm going to walk and I see, then I just go like this. I want to, you know, it's not to wait until it happens, but to do it before it happens. Become proactive against those kind of attacks. Back up. Take, take a half a step back. Yeah. The pandemic has really caused it because of COVID and because it supposedly started from China. But yeah. So yeah, the anti-Asian hate is just surfacing that's been around for 150 years. Um, yeah, I, I just kind of think it's unfortunate that now in the country and maybe worldwide, you know, once again, ugliness is rearing its head and attacking certain groups of people. I mean, you know, it's never really stopped in a way, but now it's getting a lot of press. If you ask a number of people that I've talked to, you know, they're, they're apprehensive. They're not so scared that they don't want to leave, but they're appreh apprehensive about going out because there's that potential of being harassed. No, well, you know, my strategy from this pandemic, I stay home. <laughs> Be aware of your surroundings and walk with confidence. And also do something about your uh, physical uh, exercise so, so that you know, that, that you can stand on your ground and, and be rooted and have that self-confidence and look at the guy in the eye and say, you know, what do you want to do? You know what I mean? Instead of like being scared. So some little knowledge, a little um, experience like that helps here, I think. So to get alongside with him, you just have to drop your elbow a little bit, come in, raise up like Henry did, and then get out of there.